Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. We're continuing on in the biblical world that we all live in. The Bible is true, it's living and breathing. We're living it right now. It explains who we are, how creation was made, and a bunch of other amazing facts about the world. Meanwhile, the world wants to believe the mainstream media, the books they read in school, even though it was bad info, but we all memorized it and could repeat it, so it must be true, right? No one read the Bible or anything. No one prays to Jesus Christ or our Father. That was my experience anyways, going through school. Everyone hated Jesus in the Bible. I, there was very few Christians in my school where I grew up, all, all throughout school, kindergarten to grade 12, and even university. But the world actually is biblical. The Bible is true. Jesus Christ is Lord God and Savior. If you make him your Lord God and Savior, he's not forcing you. He's not sending you to hell. You're on your way to hell because you're a sinner. I am too, but sin pains me. I don't go out of my way to sin. I recognize that it's death and destruction, and I don't want to be a part of it. That doesn't mean I'm a perfect person. I'm far from that. But I've noticed something in the past few years, past many years, along with my brothers and sisters in Christ. There's a truth movement, a Christian community online. We're trying to shine light on the darkness. We're trying to show people that the world is biblical and they need Jesus Christ. No matter what the world has sold them, it's a bunch of lies. You're going to be surprised at how many lies you used to believe in. Hopefully you won't believe in them anymore and believe the biblical world. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get people to know Jesus Christ, to have salvation, to be forgiven, to take part in the wonderful promises of God, to go to heaven and the Father. All we need is Jesus Christ. People dismiss that. They don't research. They don't bother reading the Bible for themselves. They rather have the newspaper, the mainstream news, CNN and Fox, right? Two sides of the same coin. In this video, we're looking at Cuban actor Alberto Guerrera. He's seen here doing the vow of silence. Is he keeping the secret of the biblical world about how fame, fortune, and success really work and most likely about Freemasonry? I bring this up because, well, I see it every day and it's definitely true, even if people don't believe it. He's on a magazine cover. He's hiding his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. This is the Freemason hidden hand. People throughout history have done this. It's a big secret. They don't talk about it. They actually do a vow of silence, keeping the secret, the sign of Hippocrates. They don't want people to know about the way things work. But now we're living in the last days. God says in the Bible that everything secret will be brought into the light. People will understand what the world is. And there's a quote. I can't remember who, it's, who said it, but their symbolism will be their downfall because they've been smug about it. They have duper's delight. They want people to maybe kind of notice it, but not really. It's just a conspiracy theory. These crazy Christians talking about this and showing it every day, they're just crazy people, conspiracy theorists. Even though we're showing people the truth, hidden in plain sight, right? Alberto Guerrero, the Cuban actor, is on a magazine cover, and he's hiding his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. Why is this a problem? The god of Freemasonry, small g in quotes, is Lucifer the light bearer. That is Satan. The world is run by Satan right now. If you don't believe me, read your Bible. The Bible is true, living, and breathing. More importantly, Jesus Christ is our true living God. He did die on the cross. Why did he do that? He lived a perfect sinless life, realizing that sin is a humongous problem. Every single person alive besides Jesus Christ has been a sinner. We all need him. We all need salvation and forgiveness. You don't go to a guy named Father or a priest named what, whatever and c confess your sins and do it that way. You don't need religion necessarily. Even though Christianity in the Bible is part of the Christian religion, but that, can, that word, religion, that has a bad taste in some people's mouths because the Catholic Church, they're not Christians. They may say they believe in Jesus and a bunch of similar things, but they add on to the text. They add to the Bible. They take away. They believe in saints and Mary and all these other things that those are all sinners. Everyone's been a sinner except Jesus Christ, even Mary. I do not hate Mary at all. I love her. She's our Lord's mother, and that's very important. But still, she's not sinless. She did sin in her lifetime. Maybe it wasn't something all that bad, but in God's eyes, one sin is as bad as committing all sin. 
It really is a problem. The solution, having your faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ, who lived a perfect sinless life, died on the cross, shed his precious blood. Three, day, three days later, he was resurrected and lives forever. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. God, he cannot lie. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.